Mm. These are going to be a nice, tasty addition to any salad. You can throw them over the top of a stir fry. Or you could also even just throw them into a stew. Hi from The Nature Company. Today we're going to be teaching you how to grow your microgreens. This is a high value nutritional crop to keep you fed. And it's all about sustainable living. We need to ensure that we can grow our own food. So if there is any food shortages, we know we can look after ourselves. Today we're going to be doing the chai seeds, flax seeds and sunflower seeds. We're going to be sowing them into separate containers as they have different germination times. The small container we're going to be doing the chai seeds. They'll take 3 to 10 days to germinate. In the larger container we're going to divide it in half and do the flax seeds and the sunflower seeds as they both take between 7 and 10 days for germination. For microgreens you're going to be harvesting after the first true leaves appear. So basically you're going to be eating the stem, the seed leaf and the new bud that's just open. So what we're going to be doing is filling our seedling trays with a good quality peat which is going to be nice, fine and loose. We're going to mix that with perlite. So we're going to be doing approximately a quarter mix perlite to peat. This is a pre-moistened peat so that we don't have to worry about trying to get the peat wet in the, the pot. This makes it easier for the sowing. So what we're looking for is just a nice loose mix that's going to have lots of air and lots of moisture retaining qualities but the peat doesn't have to have any nutritional value in it for the plants because harvesting is done before the plants are even going to be drawing nutrition from the soil. There we go, that looks like a good mix. So we'll just loosely fill the tray. is going to be a high density uh, seeding. That means we're going to be plant we're going to be putting in a lot of seeds in a very small area. Also because they're going to be harvesting before they start competing for nutrition. Now what we do we just gently tap it down without compacting. We just want to make a nice flat surface so we can broadcast evenly. Notice I'm not putting any pressure on it whatsoever. Okay, there we have a nice even surface to make sure we can broadcast the seeds evenly. Okay. With the char seeds, we're just going to sprinkle them throughout the area. Do you notice how thick the seeding is done? The majority of the seeds will germinate and form a thick forest of plantlets. Perfect for microgreens. Okay, now with the sunflower seeds we do the same thing. Notice we're using a much deeper pot, not much deeper tray. It's because they're much larger seeds and the microgreens are going to be a, lot, um, a much larger plant it than with the chai. Also flax seeds because we're going to use the same seedling time, germination time, we're just going to sprinkle those on. There we go. Trying to get a nice even spacing. If you were going to be seeding to grow on, you'd never seed this many seeds into a single tray. And then just with a little bit of your loose peat, just a very light covering over the top. This is to hold in the moisture. Notice with the flax seeds, because they're smaller seeds, I'm doing a much 
thinner coats. Okay, and with the char seeds, also a very thin coat. That should be fine. And then again, we'll just gently tap the top. This is to press the seeds into the lower level so that they'll get the moisture. We're not going to be feeding these at all. It will just take a couple of days to two weeks before we harvest. And there we go. All ready to grow on. We'll put these in a nice warm position out of the direct sun and they should start popping up quite quickly and we'll show you as the, the greens start coming up. Easy and nutritional food. You don't even need a garden to do it. You can do this in your kitchen, putting them on the windowsill or on a patio and you'll have nutritional food to see you through the hard times or just good tasty food to add to another meal. What we're gonna do now is just give the seeds a very light sprinkling of water just to settle them in so that they find their place. There we go. That should settle them in nicely. They don't move around. Will help them to root better and sprout quicker. Here we are at the beginning of day three and we can see already the seedlings have started to emerge. Yesterday, we had, all we had done is given them a light sprinkling of water again, just to make sure that they weren't drying out. At this point, we've moved the trays where they're going to be getting some morning sun. This is just to allow the new shoots that come up to start photosynthesizing immediately and start producing nutrients. Also allowing the seed leaves to transform the food that has been stored in them into a usable form and that will also mean that the nutrients then available would be available to us as we eat them. This is just to show you how fast the progression of germination is. This is the afternoon of day three. All those little seed leaves that have now popped open and gone green. What we'll do is we'll just give them another quick sprinkle just as the area over here is starting to dry just to make sure that they continually moist but not wet we don't want them to rot that's also one of the reasons that we are allowing them a bit of the sunshine in the mornings now the direct sunlight brings the warmth and speeds up the growth and the ultraviolet light kills any fungal spores or fungal growth that starts to happen there we go with just a very fine spray just to moisten off the top we especially don't want to disturb the fine char seeds at the moment yeah we are at the beginning of day four with the sunflower seeds and the flax seeds yeah you can see that their germination rate is fairly similar and there we go with the char seeds now you can see why we had done these in a separate container a large amount of already come up with their seed leaves. The greenness shows that they're starting to photosynthesize already. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to put just a little bit more water, just starting to dry out ever so slightly. So what we'll do is just give it a light sprinkling again this morning. Make sure that they stay on course. Also here with the seed just starting to dry out. We wanna keep this sort of nice, just dampness to it. Okay, here we go with the watering. You can see again, a very fine spray. Here we are in the morning of day five. You can see the nice morning sun on them. All the nice bright green color. They're all starting to grow beautifully. Here with the char, they've produced a full cover already. And those are going to be ready for harvest in a couple of days already. So quick, easy crops.
So today is day six. Uh, we're still only on the seed leaf. We're waiting for the new shoot to come up in between and produce the true leaves. Again, just a quick light sprinkling on top. Couple of days time, looks like we're gonna be ready to harvest. You can see how much they've grown up since yesterday morning. One of the reasons that we're using the peat perlite mix, it's a completely aseptic mix. So we're not going to have any problems with fungal and bacterial spores that may be in the media. And with us keeping the, the plants moist and with them being so compact, there's very little air movement. This would cause the fungal spores and bacteria to grow rampantly and probably destroy the whole crop. Also, there's no chance of it being contaminated with weed seeds. So we're not going to have any problem with the weeds outgrowing or competing for light and moisture with our microgreen crop. Day 7 of microgreens. We can see these are really starting to get going now. Nice and high. You can see here the true leaves coming up nicely. These can be eaten at the moment. The roots will still be nice and tender so you'll be able to eat the roots as well. You can just rinse off the peat, pop them in your mouth and there we go, a nice little snack. At this point is the point that we're going to be harvesting. We can see the true leaves having formed in the center. The seed leaves are still nice and plump. So they're still going to have a lot of nutrition in them. Now we're going to be harvesting our microgreens. So day seven, ready to be harvested. Quick, fast crop. All we do is we take a nice sharp pair of scissors. And we just cut it. Easy, quick from garden to table. These are going to be a nice, tasty addition to any salad. You can throw them over the top of a stir fry. Or you could also even just throw them into a stew. And there we go. One quick rinse and they're ready to be eaten. straight from your garden.